Hello again, it's the same day, the 11th of December 2020 and welcome back to the second segment of today's recording. We finished the first one, the baby shoes. Now we're moving on to the creation of the second item on this very special christening or baby dedication cake and um, the second uh, creation is um, an edible, an edible Holy Bible topper. So let's get creative. So to create this my edible Holy Bible topper, I've got a number of tubes. I'm going to be needing a rule. I've got a shutter ruler which I wanted to use before but I'm more comfortable with other measurements. I'm more comfortable with inches. So that's why and this one has got inches, the other one has, has got a centimeter. So I'm going to be using this one as well. I'm going to be using my small rolling pin. And I'm going to be using these straight line cutters. Of course I've got my knife. Oh the knife. My knife, my knife. And of course my brushes and water. So to do the Holy Bible cake, I've got this my I've got gum paste. This is gum paste. And of course I've got my tracks. I'm going to be using tracks just to prevent any stickiness on my hand and on the mat. So this is a gum paste. Because I'm creating the inside of the cake, so I'm not really fussy about the color of the fondant I'm going to be using. It's the back of it that I'm going to be more concerned about. So I'm using the leftover fondant I used for a cake I made last weekend, which contained grey. So I'm going to be using 50% of fondant. And of course 50% of gum paste to create the inside of the Bible. In order to prevent my gum paste from drying out, so I'm going to use that one later and I'm going to wrap it in the clean thing. That is why you've got, you've seen I have a number of clean things around here. That kind of prevents my fondant or gum paste from drying out. So with this 50-50 um, gum paste and fondant, I am kneading to create the inside of my Bible. How did I get to learn how to do this? I had a, a christening cake a year ago which had a Bible cake topper and it was the plan that I'm going to buy a styrofoam to cover and create that Bible topper but unfortunately when my styrofoam that I ordered online came they looked more like block so they didn't fit the purpose for which I needed them so I had to improvise at the very last minute and I thought what am I gonna do so I'm going to create my own Bible and as a result of a disappointment I learned I taught myself I learned through the process and created my own Bible and I'm glad I did and I spent a, number, a lot of money I spent about not a lot of money though but at least for the what I didn't eventually use spent 20 something pounds right now that's where my measurement comes in I need 3 inches and 5 inches on the other side okay so I need to measure out 5 inches by 3 inches, that's what I need to do, because my cake is 6 inches, the top, of, the top tier of my cake is 6 inches, so effectively I need something that comfortably fit that, okay? This is more than six. Well, I'm gonna cut it because I need to cut it five by three. 
5 inches long and 3 inches in width. I am cutting out my rectangle in 5 inches long by 3 inches width in shape and molding it and shaping it to make sure it is properly defined in the desired shape I required. I'm not using any templates, I'm just using my idea to get the desired shape I want. Doesn't need to be big. So now so it looks like a Bible. So this is five by three inches. And then this is where this comes in to create. At this stage, I am using the uh, tiny strip cutters to create pages indentation on the three sides of the cutout rectangle. You just need enough to wrap or cover the the block you created. So total now we have seven and a half inches width and by five point three inches um, height. I think that should be sufficient. Yes, it is. your hand you make it as real as possible i am using one end of my ruler to create indentations for the spine and the back of the book it's um it's five inches long and three inches wide five inches long and three inches wide at this stage i am using one of the fonts of the number of tapets i have to cut out the open quote holy bible close quote letters on the book and also carefully placing them on the book using water and my rule to ensure that they are properly placed on the book. That's going to be painted gold. 